GTX is the name of our plumbing company. We're family owned and operated in the Georgetown and Houston areas. We service all residential and commercial plumbing needs. Our customers are literally found anywhere. Everybody that you come across, anybody you talk to, is going to have some sort of plumbing that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be at their jobs, at their homes, at your own home, where you work. Anywhere you go has some sort of plumbing integrated into it. Daddy, when is we need a wall, when we call it, when is we call a wall? So, you're gonna call a plumber anytime that you see water somewhere that it's not supposed to be in your home most of the time or if it's not draining out of somewhere that usually it drains out of. Those are the times that you might need to call a plumber. Also, if you're having a gas issue, if you're having any sort of odd smells that smell kind of like bad sewer odors, all these instances are times that you may want to call a plumber. Oh, what was your favorite day? Sometimes, bud. How did I come along with so there's a few different avenues you can take to become a plumber. You can hop right into the workforce, be an apprentice, work for a master plumber. All those hours are gonna to go towards your certifications. You're gonna go in, you're gonna get your drain cleaner certification, then you can get your tradesmen's, your journeyman's, your masters, your registered master's plumber's license. There's a lot of different avenues that you can take. You can also go through a union of some sort. Uh, that is a very valid avenue as well. Um, plumbing is going to branch into multiple, multiple fields. Uh, there's marine plumbing, there's uh, just your average residential plumbing, commercial plumbing. Uh, you're gonna, you, you might specialize in a, apartment complexes or high rises. The sky's the limit. Literally anything that you can imagine has plumbing integrated into some aspect of it. I don't know the what? <laughs> An apprenticeship is when you're working under a licensed plumber. Generally speaking, it's gonna be a master in charge of the company. The journeymen's are gonna be out and about and you're gonna be working with other plumbers. You're gonna to wanna to learn everything you can from them. Everything that they have to teach you is gonna help you in the long run. You're gonna be taking continuing education classes. Even after you're a licensed plumber, you have to go to classes every year to update that license and keep it valid. So the average age of plumbers in Texas hovers right around 60 from year to year. So there's, we're not getting a lot of new blood into the plumbing world. We need it. We really do. So if plumbing is an avenue that you've ever thought about taking, it's ready. You take this avenue and you pretty much have a job whenever you need it. Generally speaking, when you think of plumbing, you're thinking of the service call industry. You are going out day to day, going to people's houses, meeting new people, taking care of whatever plumbing issues they have. But there's a lot of behind the scenes work too. There's a lot of HR and office work. Uh, there's also a lot of salesmen that go out and that's all that they do. They do plumbing sales. You're not always going to be working on the service side of things. Plumbing is a great way to jump right into the workforce and start getting paid instantly. And you can be a future plumbing hero too. And I am a plumbing hero too. Yes, we are a hippo plumber here.